Recently, I shot a video on how to upgrade your Xiaomi phone to MIUI 7. I had quite a few of you ask me to do a follow-up video on what's new with MIUI 7. Enough considering I have two Mi 4 eyes lying around, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. So in this video, let's take a look at what improvements MIUI 7 brings to the table. Hey guys, this is Ashia from C4E Tech and let's get started. First, let's start with the most talked about feature, the new themes. You have 5 themes preloaded now. And these are good looking themes. Barring the default theme, we now have Rose, Ocean Breeze, Pink Bluish and High Life. The icons even with the default theme have changed a little bit. While they might look similar, look closer and you'd notice a difference. Pull down the notification shade and you'll notice a new icon to the top right. This makes it easier to block unwanted notifications from certain apps. Sweet. Get to the toggles and again you see a change. There's now a circle to show what's activated and what's not. Jumping to the settings menu, we notice more changes. The whole settings menu feels better organized now. In the past, MIUI settings menus have felt a little cluttered. Nice to see Xiaomi clean that up. Next up, we have a few new extra wallpapers and there's also an option called daily lock screens. Choose the type and this gets new wallpapers of the same category delivered to your lock screen automatically every day. Then there is double XL text. You can now increase the font size more than you could with MIUI 6. If you're someone who needed this, well, here it is. Xiaomi's also added a child mode to MIUI 7. We've seen this a lot with other phones in the past. Basically, when enabled, child mode limits the apps and content that can be accessed via your phone. Whether it's for your children or for security when you hand your phone off to someone else, it's a nice feature to have. The next two features, Showtime and Baby Album, are a little complex to activate, so I'm just going to explain them and leave links to MIUI forums on how to get them to work. So first, Showtime. This lets you set a video of yourself to appear on, a, on another's phone when you call. It takes about 10 minutes to set up and will work only if the person you call uses a Xiaomi phone with MIUI 7 on it and has also completed the 10 minute setup and accepts your request to exchange contact cards. So that's pretty complex. Baby Album, as the name suggests, creates an album of your kid and you can pull images from that for your lock screen wallpaper and so on. Moving on, there's also a few India specific features here. Number one, Visual IVR that Xiaomi teased during the Mi 4i launch is now available. Then there's the group carrier messages option that groups unwanted SMS into a folder. And the OTP detect option, where MIUI offers to copy the one-time pin when it detects an OTP is being sent to you. So with that, let's now get to the general optimizations that MIUI 7 brings with it. Both these Mi 4i's have been factory wiped, while one is running the latest stable global MIUI 6, the other is on the latest global developer MIUI 7 ROM. So let's open up a bunch of apps. As you can see, MIUI 7 is indeed fast. It's not that the transitions alone have been sped up, but even the apps themselves seem to open faster. The phone feels a lot more snappy now. Happy to see Xiaomi continuing to support and improve their software, not just for the latest phones released, but even for older ones. As far as battery goes, with my Mi Note Pro, it's been marginally better. I'd say an improvement of about 5-10%. to So, I guess that's it for this video. If I missed any feature, do let me know in the comments below. And I hope you found this video useful. If you did, do give it a thumbs up. And for more videos like this, please stay subscribed. So that's it for now. Thanks a lot for watching. Till next time, this is Ash here from C4E Tech, signing off. You guys have a great day. Bye-bye now.